You've already spent $400 on your iPhone. You've already ripped all those CDs and paid at least 20 bucks for each one. And now the record industry wants you to pay at least two more dollars to turn songs you already own into ringtones? I don't think so. I'm Randall Bennett for CNET.com and on this Insider Secret, we'll show you how to take tracks you already own and use them as ringtones on your iPhone for free. There's a couple ways to get those custom tunes on your iPhone. We'll start with the easiest method, and that's iLife 08. Make sure you've updated GarageBand to the latest version, version 4.1.1. Open any audio file, and then select a cycle region up to 40 seconds in length. To create a cycle region, head to the bottom of the screen and click the cycle region button next to the fast forward button. At the top of the screen, you'll notice a bar that you can make bigger or smaller and select your area for your ringtone. After that, head to the Share menu, then select Send Ringtone to iTunes, and iTunes and GarageBand will process your track and bam, it'll end up on your iPhone. Now if you haven't shelled out the cash for iLife 08, you can still get free custom ringtones on your iPhone, but it'll take a little bit of extra legwork. We'll start off by taking any audio file we've got available, in this case an MP3 of Buzz Out Loud, and opening it in a freeware audio editor called Audacity. iPhone ringtones need to be around 30 seconds in length, so we'll pick the parts of the clip we want and then export the selection out with any format that iTunes will understand. Next, we'll configure iTunes so that it correctly converts the file into an M4A so that the iPhone can play it back as a ringtone. We'll do that by heading to the Preferences menu, select Advanced, and pick the Import tab. We'll set the Import Using field to AAC Encoder. After that, import the track into iTunes, then right-click on the track and select Convert Selection to AAC. This will convert the file to AAC format, which the iPhone can play back as a ringtone. Once it's done, we'll right-click on the converted file and select Show in Finder, or if you're on a PC, select Show in Explorer. We'll rename the file from filename.m4a to our filename.m4r. You'll have to go back into iTunes, delete the old entry for the ringtone, and then go back to the Finder or Explorer window and double-click on the ringtone. Now the ringtone should appear in the ringtones playlist in your library. All you've got left to do is sync your iPhone and it'll show up under the ringtones screen under custom ringtones. Now if you follow the steps you should be good to go, but if you're having problems make sure you have iTunes version 7.5 and your iPhone is at firmware 1.1.2. Also some people report problems with the file showing up as a regular music file, but typically if you remember to delete it out of your music library and then re-import it, it'll show up as a ringtone. Now you should be off and jamming, all without having to void your iPhone warranty and saving you a little bit of extra coin. I'm Randall Bennett for CNET.com. We'll see you later.